Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. I recently did a poll on Instagram and YouTube and I asked what kinds of videos you guys would be interested in seeing if I was to reboot my channel, which I'm trying to do here. And actually a lot of you guys asked for like technique breakdowns. So kind of the first thing that popped to my mind was like, oh, like a crate tutorial kind of thing where I obviously show you how to build some crates, but also like the techniques that you use in the crates can be used in um, just general building, I feel like. Um, so yeah, let's just jump right in to the simplest crate. All right, so this is a very simple crate. Um, you've probably seen this in a couple of my mocks. Um, basically what the um, strategy here for this kind of crate is this um, cone piece and then a two by two plate of the same color. And then you take um, however many um, two by two round plates in a different color. Um, I, li I like two plates, but you can do um, just one or, you know, three or four, depending on how tall you want the crate to be. But basically you just take the color, stack those, take the base color, put it on the bottom, and then the cap, I guess you could call it, goes right on the top. And there you go. All right, the next crate uses these um, kind of like two by four rounded bricks, I guess you could call them. Um, and basically you just take one of these, flip it over, take some Technic pins, slide one in to the farthest over going like this. And then the other one goes the opposite way. This doesn't really matter that much. I just feel like it gives it a little bit more stability when you kind of alter the way the Technic pins are inserted into the bricks. Then you just take the other one, do the same thing right here, push it together, and then you have kind of a cool cylindrical crate. It looks pretty good kind of standing up like that, or you can just sit it down on the ground like so. All right, so the next crate is a little bit more um, complex. Basically, the seed part for this crate is the one by eight plate with the rail. And this is basically a one and a half thick. And that's basically the reason I chose to use this piece. Um, so basically you take four of these and some Travis bricks and then put the Travis bricks one on either end with this stud facing out here. So we'll just do that like so. Let me just make sure it's focused right here. And then you take another plate and then just make sure these are all kind of going in the same direction you can see this one's going this way this one's also going this way and so the next one will also continue going in the same direction and the last one as well and then you kind of get like this box which is covered from all the sides and then you can take a two by two round tile and then i like to line up the kind of anti-stud areas with the kind of lines of studs because I like to position them on the side like this rather than just straight up so that's that way you get the um, not anti-studs part directly on the top and then here just put on the other um, 2 by 2 tile and then all of these tiles you could just use 1 by 8s but I like just putting in some sand blue detail. Um, so you don't have to do this. This is just something that I like doing. I like the look of it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put these kind of things on here. And then just kind of fill everything up like this. And there you go. Um, this is basically what this thing will look like. It's kind of a nice cylindrical crate. Um, I definitely do, as I said before, like angling it rather than just having it flat like this. I think that looks kind of weird, um, but angling it gives it a pretty nice look. All right, so this crate is pretty similar to this one right here. It's just a different approach to it. Um, but basically what you're gonna wanna do is take four Travis bricks and then take one of them to start and put two 
um, one by one plates in the bottom like this just make sure it's focused and then put another one on there like so and you're gonna make another one of those with the two plates on the bottom like so and then the Travis brick and then here you're actually gonna do another plate right here on the bottom and this actually doesn't do anything it just helps to fill in a gap later on and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take a 1x8 plate flip it over and then see this indent right here you're gonna go over and then the middle of these two is where you're gonna connect this kind of like here as you can see so there's a little bit of an indent right here and then you're gonna do the same thing on the other side like so then you're gonna take another 1x8 plate and then put that on the other side like that and then you're gonna take some 2x2 two two jumpers and then put them on the exposed uh, studs like this and then you should be left with something like this and then here you're gonna take a 2x2 two two round tile take a 1x1 one one plate put it in like this and then put this on the end like that and then you're gonna do the same thing with the 2x2 two two tile 1x1 one one plate and then put it in the end and then here um also the same as this one i'm putting in some sand blue but that is totally optional um and then yeah basically you're just gonna put on some more tiles this thing popped out oh wait i had it there we go so like this and then kind of just go around adding on the rest of the tiles like so just make sure they're all kind of lined up and then put on the last one like so and that is basically the second way to do this crate. Okay, so this is definitely the most involved and complex crate design, so I'm gonna try and be as clear as I can. Um, and one thing I do have to say is this does require cut flex tubes, as you can see here. And this is about um, one and a half plates long, as you can see here. Um, but yeah, so if that is something that you don't like or are not a fan of or just don't have the flex tubes to be able to cut it um then unfortunately this one is not going to be buildable um but yeah so let's just jump right in um so what you're gonna do is start with a two by three plate and also one thing i will say is everything that is in a certain color um try and make everything in that color like see how all of this stuff is light gray and then some of the other stuff is dark gray that way it'll look like this and it doesn't obviously have to be dark gray and light gray it just i think looks better when these kind of detail elements are all the same color and the base um crate is all the same color so yeah so basically what we're gonna do is start with a two by three plate take a one by four plate put it on top like this another two by three plate go like this and then take some grill tiles all of this in the same color and then it should be like this and then you're going to take some cheese slopes in the other color also again i'm using sand blue as detail but that is not um, mandatory obviously you don't have to do that if you don't want to um but yeah so then we're just going to go like this so when you have this you're going to make another one of those all right so once you have it like this you are going to take, let me put them both over here. You're gonna take some headlight bricks in the alternate color. And then you're just gonna go like this, put them together like that. And then you're gonna do that three more times. And four is what you should have in total. And then you're gonna take two of these sections 
and put them together like this. And then you should have a stud on every side. Then you're gonna do that with the other two as well. Put them together like this. <clears throat> and then you're gonna take these um, one by two plates with the rails and then put them on the top and bottom like this. And then here comes the illegal part. So you're gonna take a headlight brick in the main color in this case, it's obviously light bluish gray. Then you're going to take your um, cut flex tube. And actually it's easier if you put it into the stud with the hole in the middle first, and then put the clip and then push this in as far as you can, just so that it doesn't go all the way in here and then you can't connect it. Just, if that doesn't make sense, don't worry about it. Just, I guess, follow how it is right here. And then you're gonna push it in, but not all the way. So then just kind of like this, I guess, and you can just leave it for now. And then take the grill tile, put it on the top like this, and then do the same thing with the um, stud with the hole in the middle, the clip, and the cut flex tube. Push it in and put it into the headlight brick. And then put the grill tile on, and then basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna take one of these sections, take one of these, put it backwards, and this bottom stud right here, let's push this together more, this bottom stud right here should go into the bottom in the middle, like so. So then you should be left with something like this, and then do the same thing on the other side, like that. And then you're gonna take one of these, put it like this in the middle, and then take the other one, put it upside down like this. And then you're just gonna push like that, slide it in. And then when you take the other one, this is just gonna go into this clip and connect onto these studs. And if this one's sticking out, like as you can see here, it's sticking out, that's fine. It'll just get pushed in flat. And then you're just gonna line it up, as you can see with that stud, and then push everything together, like so. And there you go. And basically, this grill tile should be flush with the two by three area, not these plates. So then just kind of push it until that is how it is. And there you go. But that is going to wrap it up for part one of my crate tutorial video. Um, actually, after this one is posted later on today, there will be a part two coming out. Um, so yeah, definitely stay tuned for that. Um, but I will see you guys in my next video. Goodbye.